Hi, and welcome to another 4Net Players tutorial. Today we're going to talk about setting up a dedicated server configuration for Rust. Server Setup If you haven't done so already, let us first create a server configuration for Rust. Head over to the customer login on 4netplayers.com, go to Game Server, and click on the big Create a New Game Configuration button. Use the keyword search to look for Rust directly or scroll through the available titles. Click on the cover art and then follow the on-screen instructions to create your own Rust server. Directly connecting to your Rust server, open the command console with the F1 key. Now enter the following command, confirm with the Enter key, and the game is going to establish a connection to your server. That's one way to do it. However, the best and easiest way would be to add your Rust server to a favorite list using Steam. Here is how it's done. Start up Steam. Click on View. Then on Game Servers. And finally on Favorites. Click on the plus icon and enter your server's IP address with the query port. We do not need the game port here. Steam needs the query port in order to find the server. Now click the OK button. You can find your server in the game's own server browser's list of favorites now. Adding server tags. Tags make it easier for players to search for servers and find the right one. You can easily add them yourself. In case your server is set to basic mode, you simply have to open server settings and enter your tags into the empty box with the server tags label. Multiple tags are separated by commas, which might look something like this. In advanced mode, you have to add the tags to the server.config file. Open the file using the web interface, scroll all the way down, and add your server tags to the following entry. Just like in basic mode, use commas to separate the tags. When you're done, click on save and restart the server. You can find a comprehensive list of available tags here in the wiki. Be aware that the game can only display four tags at once. All further tags will be ignored by the server. Most tags are divided into specific groups, like difficulty for example. Please only ever use a single tag from each group. Using multiple tags from one and the same group can negatively impact the server search. Changing the server name in Rust you can easily change the server name using the web interface. In basic mode, you'll find the setting under Server Settings. Server Settings. Server Name. Simply enter the name of your choice here. In advanced mode, look for the following entry in the server.config. Then simply enter the desired name in between the quotation marks. In case you're using a tariff with branding, you have to include the term 4Net Players with the new name as well. Now save your settings and restart the server. Changing the server description in Rust. You can easily change the server description using the web interface. In basic mode, you'll find the setting under Server Settings. General Settings. Server Description. In advanced mode, look for the following entry in the server.config. Then simply enter the desired name in between the quotation marks. Now save your settings and restart the server. How to become an admin in Rust. No matter whether your server is set to basic or advanced mode, you'll need your Steam ID 64. You can easily obtain it like this. 
launch Steam. Then click on Steam, Settings, Account, and finally, Account Details. It would be best you copy or take note of the Steam ID now. In case your server is set to basic mode, simply use the web interface to get to admin settings and enter the following values for up to five admins. Your Steam ID 64 goes into the box labeled ID. Enter either owner or moderator into the box with the label type. Finally, your Steam name goes into the name box. Now save your settings and restart the server. In case your server is set to advanced mode, you have to make edits to the file user.config. Here you have to put your Steam ID after owner ID and your Steam name in between the quotation marks. Also replace reason with either owner or moderator. Once again, save your new settings and restart the server. For a comprehensive list of usable admin commands, go to the following site. Using the Archon tool, the Archon tool offers a Rust server administrator, another means of server management. This includes actions like kicking players or handing them items or blueprints. This is how it's done. Using the web interface, click on server settings and activate the server's Archon web functionality. Now go to the following website, click on Rust Admin Free and download the file. There's also an online variant with a monthly subscription plan available. Now decompress the downloaded file and start the program. First click on the Configuration tab. Look for the section labeled Server and enter the following information. First enter your IP without the port information. Then enter your port. Enter the Archon port. That one is always equal to your server port plus one. In case your server's password protected, enter the password in here as well. Here's some more places from which you can get web-based alternatives to the Archon tool. Installing a custom map. First, upload your map to a file hoster such as Dropbox. Once the map is uploaded, click on Share and then on Create and Copy Link. You might want to save the link to an empty text document. Now stop your server and set it to advanced mode. Then look for server.config in the left column and click on it. Add the following line to it. Replace Dropbox link with the link to the map you just copied from Dropbox. Replace the zero behind the letters D and L with a one. Otherwise, your server won't be able to download the map file. If you did everything right, the resulting line should look something like this. When you're done, click on Save and start your server. The game should automatically start on the custom map now. If you have any further questions or need additional support, visit us at 4netplayers.com support. If you don't have your own Rust game server yet, you can easily start one on 4netplayers.com. Enter code TUTORIAL at the checkout screen for 3 euros off. Did you like the video? Then don't forget to like and subscribe.